Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and staying healthy in these uncertain times. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the most common question job seekers have. Should your LinkedIn profile look the same way as your resume? Whenever I look at people's profiles on LinkedIn, I realize that a lot of professionals are still stuck somewhere before 2016, which is the year when Microsoft bought LinkedIn and made it part of their portfolio. It was, by the way, the largest acquisition made by Microsoft to the date when I'm recording this video. So in today's video, let's clarify this once and for all. What is the difference between your resume and your LinkedIn? Before we get down to it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive more help and advice in your job search. I've been hearing from so many people who have landed awesome work gigs just by following the recommendations I share in my YouTube videos. So who knows, the next success story we hear about could be yours. Now, let's highlight the number one reason why your LinkedIn and your resume should be different. These days, in like 99% of cases, your resume is designed for robots. Wait, what? Did I say robots? Remedy restoration complete. Yes, you heard me right. When you're applying for jobs online, your resume goes directly into the power of the applicant tracking system, which is a software that screens your resume for relevant keywords and decides whether you're a good candidate to pass along to a recruiter or the HR specialist who then decides whether it's worth giving your call or not. LinkedIn, on the other hand, gives you a super important advantage. Yes, there's the algorithm, but basically your profile is designed for people to look at. So you get a shot at impressing people with what you have to offer, with your story, with the skills and qualifications that you have, and the way you position yourself for the job that you're currently looking for. You can also think about it this way. If someone tells you to look at an object far away, the first thing that you're going to do is probably turn towards that object. That is essentially what your LinkedIn profile does. It turns you more towards your career goals and the jobs that you're currently targeting. But then if you want to look really closely at that object to see it in better detail, you will zoom in to actually be able to see those small details. That is essentially what your resume does. It is designed for and tailored for a specific job that you're currently applying for. And that is the main reason why you need to customize your resume every time you apply for a new job, because that way you're increasing your chances by tailoring your resume more towards that specific job description. And that's why your LinkedIn is more like the about us page for the brand named you. Now is the time for you to take a look at your resume and compare it to your LinkedIn profile. Did you just copy paste your resume onto your LinkedIn? If that's the case, now is the time to change that and let me show you how. When it comes to your resume, a lot of job seekers tend to make very similar and common mistakes that at the end of the day can cost them a chance to get an interview and a chance to impress the employer. If you want to avoid those same mistakes and improve your resume, go check out this video where I talk about those mistakes and how you can fix them right away. So when you're comparing your resume and your LinkedIn profile, remember that when it comes to your resume, its job is to position you for that one specific opening that you are currently applying for or currently targeting. So it can only sell you well for that position by matching that job description as closely as you can. Your LinkedIn, on the other hand, is a tool that you can use for so many other purposes in your professional development and career in general. It's a tool for networking. You can build a personal brand and you can open yourself up to more opportunities within that area or within that industry that you're currently interested in. Now let's take a quick look at the different sections of your LinkedIn profile to make sure that you are making the best possible first impression. Take a look at your profile headline. Does it match your job title in your resume? It shouldn't. It can be so much more than that. It can include relevant keywords for the industry or for your professional focus. It can even contain a marketing slogan that has more of a value proposition where you're telling employers and recruiters the kind of ultimate result or the ultimate success that you can help them achieve. Okay, let's move to the about section right below your headline. Does that match the summary paragraph from your resume? Is it written in the third person? If that's the case, you need to change that right now. 
The About section of your LinkedIn it talks directly to your target audience. That's why you should write it in the first person and make the tone a little bit more conversational yet still professional to make sure that you're building that initial emotional connection and telling your story. Your resume or the summary in your resume usually has just a couple of sentences that have a very general summary of what it is that you do. So in the about section of your LinkedIn profile, you have a chance to expand and elaborate on that a little bit. You can talk about who you are, like a strong one line intro where you kind of introduce your general profile and the thing that you're best at. Then you talk about what it is that you do. Talk about those results or those specific outcomes or business challenges that you can help employers resolve or overcome. Then you can talk about how it is that you do that. So what kind of unique skills, talents, or credentials, or qualifications you leverage to, in order for you to be able to deliver and do a really good job. And finally, talk about the things that make you stand out. So maybe two or three highlights that you're most known for. Something that your colleagues, your leaders, and other people can remember you by, and something that really makes you different from the average candidate in the, with the same level of qualifications and credentials. Now let's move to the experience section of your profile. Again, no need to copy paste all of the bullets that you're highlighting on your resume. On your LinkedIn profile, you can talk a little bit more general and maybe choose one or two top highlights per each role. That is more than enough to give you keywords and enough exposure and give that teaser to your target audience that makes them want to find out more. So the key takeaway here is that LinkedIn gives you a lot more freedom to choose the format in which you want to tell your story. You don't have to stick to the resume lingo, you don't have to have long lists of skills and credentials. You can pick a format that helps you be more compelling and make sure that people get a feeling of your personality, of your voice, and the kind of experience and background you bring to the table. Another important difference that is definitely worth mentioning here is that your resume is mainly focused on your past. So we talk about past results, past accomplishments, and previous work experience. Your LinkedIn profile can be a lot more oriented towards the future and be forward-looking in a way. So you can talk about the goals and you know, the application of everything you've done in the past to future challenges and projects. That way you kind of bridge the, the past, the things that you've already done, with the things that you currently are you know, looking for and you're interested in. I know that for a lot of you it can be challenging to narrow down your messaging on your LinkedIn profile because you might be thinking, well, it's a difficult time right now. I don't have the luxury to just apply for certain types of roles and I'm targeting whatever I can get pretty much. And I totally understand where you're coming from. But remember, there is nothing wrong with narrowing down your focus because if your messaging on your LinkedIn profile is broad and includes a little bit of everything, the way it is perceived on the other end, so the way recruiters and employers will see it as kind of nothing really. So there is no focus, there is no clear target. So if you want to write a compelling and successful LinkedIn profile, the number one thing to keep in mind is who is your target audience? Create and tailor your message towards those companies and those people. It doesn't mean that you will only be targeting them exclusively. You might still get inquiries from other people and companies outside of that target group. But what matters is you create that focused messaging that can give you a lot more leverage and can make you a much more attractive and compelling candidate at the end of the day. If you want to learn more about optimizing the different sections of your LinkedIn profile, make sure to check out this video where I review real LinkedIn profiles and share actionable and super practical recommendations. So if there's one thing that I would love for you to take away from this video today, it's this. Your resume and your LinkedIn are both very important tools in your job search that essentially serve the same purpose. But there is a big difference between the two. Your LinkedIn profile is there to help you catch the attention of your target audience, whether it's recruiters, employers, or people in your network. Once you get that initial attention and that initial attraction, then 
comes your resume that is there for you to narrow down on why you are a great fit for a specific opportunity. So now is the time to tell your story on your LinkedIn profile. And I know that it can be extremely challenging to talk about yourself and know how to create that message on LinkedIn to make sure that you are hitting all of the right points. If you need help with that, I'm gonna leave my contact information in the description below. Please feel free to reach out, I would love to help. I would love to hear from you guys, so make sure to start typing in the comments under this video and let me know how your LinkedIn profile is different from your resume. And if they are not yet different, what are some of the key steps that you're gonna take right now to make sure that you position yourself well on LinkedIn and don't just include a copy-pasted resume on there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit thumbs up. If you loved it, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so that you don't miss my next video. And I'll see you again soon.